Hello friends, so there I was. My lease was coming to an end. I wanted to hit the road and travel and just find myself a little bit. I had about $200 extra cash in my bank account and I wanted to build a van and hit the road. So today I'm gonna show you how I built this van in one week with under $150 to spare. My ultimate goal in building this van was to spend $0. So I had to get very creative with not only cutting costs, but coming up with some extra cash. So obviously it costs a little more than $150 to get this whole thing up and running. So first thing I'm gonna do is itemize everything in the van, show you how much it costs, show you how I came up with that cash, and also show you how I cut costs in the process to make this whole thing happen within seven days. start with the van build itself. This includes all the lumber, the shiplap, the ceiling panels, brackets, screws, hardware, insulation including foam board and reflectix, basically everything I purchased at Lowe's and Home Depot. The total comes out to $754.48. I also needed a couple tools to get the van build going. I just had a lovely gentleman come in and try to remove the sides with a sawzall. However, the blade was no bueno. And I am L on a budget So we're gonna take this saw to this piano. I feel like this is how you start a fire in the woods. I also bought a tool belt, which was much more fashion over function, but it actually did come in handy. And that total is $61.85. Next up is storage baskets and containers. I was a container store virgin and went a little, little crazy, a little bit crazy there. Spent $215.97 on storage baskets and containers. Do you want to steal any of my GoPros or mics? They're in the basket to the left. Right here, and then just... You just pull it out, take it home, sell it on eBay. I don't know what you want to do, but what you do with my shit is your business, so. For kitchen items, I bought myself a new pan, an electric kettle, and an electric burner, and then a few plastic plates and cups, and that totaled $91.37. Velcro and command strips, basically things that help me fasten stuff to the walls, cost $98.92. I bought some sheer curtains just to decorate the van a little bit more, and I bought some blackout curtains for the front, and that came out to $149.93. My decor, including a throw blanket, green garland for the perimeter of the van, and a few macrame hangings, totaled $142.93. My skylight, including a jigsaw and blades, caulk, a caulk gun, a file, rust-oleum, seal tape, and the skylight itself came out to $246.62. For my music studio, I spent $23.48. And then we have our appliances. My fridge was $169. Check this out, just got my refrigerator. Oh my gosh. Do you like a kombucha while you're driving down the road? Why yes, I would love that. Dang it, I spilled my mushrooms. My Jackery 1000 was $1,500, and my Jackery 300 was $288.21. That is a grand total of $4,041.76. That is not $150. No, it is not. It is still a very cheap van build, though, however. And I just want to show you that you can do a pretty sweet van build on a very tight budget. I didn't have $4,000 laying around. I just didn't. I didn't at the time. I'm gonna show you how I made this whole thing happen with just $150. You ready for it? Welcome to my basic ass bitch van build. Sorry. <laughs> I was able to build my van for $4,000 and drastically cut costs by using things that I already owned. So first I figured out the dimensions of my van, taped that out in my apartment and started shoving my furniture inside the tape to see what would fit. Not a minimalist, definitely not. I literally have six inches to get in my van. And this would be my living space. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet, but the one thing I do know, couch bed is a yes. Okie dokie. Instead of buying expensive bedding and a mattress, I already had a futon, I already had a four inch mattress, and I already had these super cozy fuzzy pillows. My bed cost zero dollars. Now I did build a platform so I could have some storage underneath, so that did cost a little bit of money, but not as much as buying a brand new mattress, brand new bedding, and completely building out a bed. What's kind of cool about this futon is it's got three different levels of relaxation. You can leave it here, 
can prop it all the way up. Hmm. Analysis paralysis is a real thing. A non-negotiable for me in the van was to have a music studio. So instead of building something from scratch, I decided to hollow out my piano, store all my guitars, recording equipment, and instruments inside, but give it the aesthetic of a real piano because I want to feel cozy in my space. I want it to feel homey. I want to feel inspired. Super important to me. So I gutted out my piano and put it in the van. I did it, guys. I turned my van into a music studio. So we got lots of storage in here. I have all my guitars over here. It's not quite organized just yet, but we're getting there. Do not try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. It's working, it's working. All right, I got everything cleaned out. Now I'm gonna see if my keyboard fits. I think it's going to, oh my gosh. Like her in love. to turn my piano into a mic stand so everything I need to record is in this little space right here. So I did insulate the walls and the ceiling in my van. I thought that was super important. However, I saved quite a bit of money by instead of insulating the floor, I put in a carpet. It'll help with soundproofing from my recording studio. It saved me on materials such as insulation and floorboard. It acts as a little bit of insulation. Is it ideal? Is it perfect? No, it's not. But it did help me cut costs in the van build by using something that I already owned. And this was just a rug that I had bought from Target. I've had it for years. I was okay cutting it up. I was basically gonna trash it when I moved anyway. I don't mind it being in the van. I know it's gonna get dirty. It definitely did help me cut material costs. Instead of building a bunch of shelves for the van, I just brought my armoire. <laughs> It's short enough where it can fit in here, but it has a ton of storage. Beep beep, struggle bus coming through. I basically spent zero dollars on shelving for the van. Speaking of shelving, I also used baskets that I already owned. So I had a bunch of fiddly fig trees around my house and they sat in baskets. But now I'm using those baskets for storage. I put my clothes in shoe boxes and I can stack three in each basket. And then I have a couple others that I use for my blankets and pillow so I can just easily throw it onto my bed at night, easily clean it up. It's stored away and it matches the ambiance. Most of the things you see in my van, I already had in my apartment. I had a ton of macrame hangings all around my house. I'm already decorating my van. Oh, hello. This is going to go here. I have to have a dream catcher macrame. Literally, I'm gonna have three macrame hangings in my van and I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven are under there somewhere. Seven macrame hangings in my van. Oh yeah, then I have this little hangy thing. That's technically macrame, right? I've got issues. I already had this big circle mirror, figured out how to fasten it to the wall so it will stay in place. I had fairy lights, which are my main source of light at night. I had some faux plants that I cut apart and I put them around the edge of the van to hide the reflectix, hide the seams, and just add a little pop of Chip and Joanna. You get it, you, you get it, right? You get it. And speaking of lighting, not only do I have my little fairy lights, I brought in an actual dimmable lamp and I was able to fasten it to my piano with this heavy duty plastic Velcro. It's also what I use to hang up my mirror. So I just had to get creative with it and make it work. All my lighting just runs off of my Jackery. I didn't do any wiring in the van. I didn't want to spend the money and I didn't want to risk losing resale value if I decide van life isn't for me. The whole reason for doing a zero dollar van build for me was to travel around and see if I actually like van life and want to do it longer than a few months. Not only that, it'll give me the chance to know what I'll need in a real van build. So we're just testing it out. I built my van in seven days. If you want to watch that series, I'll link it down below. I vlogged the whole process. So if you want to check out how I did it, there's a link down in the description, but I just wanted to get on the road. I didn't want to spend three months building out a van to learn one, I don't like van life or two, I wanna change a bunch of things anyway. So another way I cut costs drastically were to phone a friend. Hello, Eric, may I please use your man tools? Thank you. Oh no. Oh no. That hurt. Did it pinch you? No, I'm good. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, we got a bleeder. Am I putting enough on? Oh yeah. Is that too much? No, you're doing just fine, sweetie. You just keep cocking away. See all that white stuff coming out? Perfect. Shut up, martini. Grin. Control your husband. Get your husband under control. Um, your turn. Okay. <laughs> Tag, you're it. What's your favorite crumble cookie? That's what I know. <laughs> friends 
Eric and Corinne. They not only opened their garage and their tools to me, they also helped me build a few things such as my platform bed, put up my ceiling panels. They were there for moral support and they provided very helpful, very cute insulation cutters. Come on, Dad! <laughs> Also, my neighbor helped me out a little bit. I guess he took pity on me, I'm not really sure why. Okay, I get it, I get it. My neighbor happens to remodel houses, so he had a bunch of tools, busted them out, helped me build a couple things in the van. Very, very grateful for that. But another way I saved a ton of cash is I had zero labor costs. Aside from my friends helping me out here and there, I did this van build by myself. She must work out. Oh, it was a shit show. It was definitely a shit show, but I did it. I made it happen. Now, do I have all the comforts of a $20,000 van build? It's a little bit of a BYOB situation. Bring your own bath tissue. I learned my lesson yesterday. Oh, no toilet paper, are you kidding? <laughs> Where's my toilet? No, I do not. I do not. Is it precision craftsmanship? Okay, what were we doing? Oh, right, we are fixing our suicidal shelf. No, it is not definitely is not. Is it ideal for my job where I rely on internet every single day? It's going to take three hours to upload this video. Three hours of my life sitting in this hot van. Three hours. I love van life. This is great. I love this. My computer's like overheating and running really f***ing slow. Where's the Starbucks at? Can somebody please navigate me to Starbucks? No, it is definitely not ideal for my job. Definitely not. Well, we can go scream cry in the forest over there. We could scream cry into that white pillow, but we don't want to get makeup on that. Or there's an outhouse back that way. We could go scream cry in there for a while if we'd like. But it's cozy, it's livable, and I love it for now. I'm learning that I really love van life, and I'm learning what I want in a real van build. So, my battery died, and then there was a man pissing right outside my van, so I decided to move. Here we are, two hours later. Hashtag van life, where were we? Okay, so I used as much stuff from my apartment in the van as humanly possible to cut costs. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't have the $4,000 it would take to build my van. So how did I come up with that money? Well, I sold a bunch of stuff. I sold this mirror for $20. And I sold this mirror for $20. I sold this rug for $100. Circle boards, $100. Fake plant and vase. $15. Oh, snap. I just sold some Gymshark for $120. This is gonna go toward lumber for my kitchen and my bed platform. I sold this fig tree for $80. This blender sold for $60. I sold this plant and basket for $40. I sold all this for $40. I sold this mirror for $20. I just sold five books for $45. I sold this armoire for $150. I sold this kitchen cart for $80. Selling my bike, $30. Just sold my desk for $60. I just sold a fiddly fig for $60. I just sold this diffuser for $30. And I got it for Christmas for free, so. Sold my coffee table for $130. Someone bought my bookshelf for $130. Someone's coming over to take a look at my bed. I'll let you know if it's sells. Just made $400 toward my van build. I'm trying to sell all my stuff, except for that tree. I love my fig tree. I'll pay for storage for you, baby. So how much did I actually make selling all my things? So overall, I made $2,410 on furniture and household items. The one thing I wanna change in my van build right away is I ended up putting in my desk for storage and another surface area, but it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Now to get into my kitchen, you simply step up, remove your shoes. We have carpet in here. We are not monsters. No shoes in the back. Thanks. And then you just suck it in with all your might. Do a little sideways scooch. Tuck up the tooch. You get a few splinters, but it's okay. And then you're in the kitchen. 
So that's something I'm going to fix sooner than later. But I don't mind it that much because the harder it is for creepy people to come into my van, the more secure and safe I feel. So I made almost $2,500 toward my van build. And I do not have solar in this van, so how do I power these beautiful fairy lights? Well, I bought a Jackery 1000 and a Jackery 300. Now this is something that isn't helpful at all to anybody at this point. I got my stimulus check right around the point when I bought my Jackery, so I essentially did not have to come up with that extra cost. Goodbye stimulus check, hello power for my van. I was gonna try this van build with a Jackery 300 alone, and I'm so happy I was able to get the Jackery 1000. It has saved my butt many times. It runs my refrigerator for days and days. Easy to bring into Starbucks and charge. It charges while I'm driving. I can hook up solar panels if I need to. And again, I wanna maintain the highest resale value for this van as humanly possible until I'm ready to commit 100% to van life. I've been doing it for almost five months now, and I love it. So I'm about at that point where I want to do a full van build. I've learned what I want. I thought I would want a shower and a toilet. I've learned to live without those things and I've also learned that I want a bigger van. I need to buy an internet booster so I can work off grid. I do want to eventually install solar. I want to install max air fans and I want to insulate the absolute out of this van. So yes, my van build costs about $4,000, which I think is doable for plenty of people who just want to get out on the road, try this lifestyle for a while, and if you're really tight on cash, you really want to do a budget van build, just sell a bunch of stuff like I did. All these expenses do not include the van itself, obviously. So in order to get the van, I had to come up with a $5,000 deposit, so I sold my little Prius, Snowflake. Snowflake's getting a bath. Heading to the Mercedes dealership right now. I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there she goes. They're test driving it, and they said they're gonna stop at the bank if they like it. So, oh my god, I think I just sold my car. They're gonna buy it. Oh my god, the snowflake. Oh my gosh, did I make the right decision? Goodbye, my love. I'm gonna make a separate video with my monthly van life costs because I did take out a loan on this van. I do have a monthly expense. It's basically my rent every month, but I also saved a little bit of money getting on the road right away. I used to pay $1,480 for my apartment and my van payment every month is about half of that. So in the three months it would take me to build out this van, I saved a couple grand just by getting out of my apartment and spending a little less each month. So if you wanna get on the road right away and just try this lifestyle out, it is possible with very little money. I was pretty lucky to be in a situation where I did have all this decor, I did have items that would happen to fit in a van. Maybe I can use this as a door or something, like the space behind my bed. I mean, if I put some trim around it, it would fit perfectly, okay. I did have to build a couple pieces of furniture, but I also saved some money by reusing materials. The shiplap I have on the wall, I used underneath the bed and on the cabinets. I used the scrap wood from the ceiling for tabletop surfaces. Is it the best van build in the world? No, it's not, but if you're a little creative and you're willing to sell some stuff, you can get on the road right away in a super comfortable comfortable, mostly functional, tiny home on wheels. Again, my van build series is linked down below in the description if you want to see how I built the van. And I've been traveling for the last five months and I've been documenting that whole experience. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos and we'll see you on the road.